nothing. Three wars in three generations. They brought their armies. We brought our hammers. But this enemy's different. A madman who's thrown our world into chaos. He has thousands of men. And countless more. Who are not men. Alright, I'm tired. I didn't play this game, so I just know it's a guy on Mars blowing up some shit. I mean, you guys tell me about the game. It's pretty much just being on Mars and blowing up shit. That's know. it. This isn't right. it. This what would you give it then? I uh, give it. <laughs> <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Can we move on? So, from what I understand, I seriously haven't played any of the games. You have a uh, red faction. This game about uh, communists, right? Yeah, <laughs> that would be awesome <laughs> if you were playing Stalin, yeah. Martian Martian communist simulator. Red right? fact, no, you you stand in line and wait for bread. That's what you yeah. do. The, the, the Martians have taken or the Russians have taken over Mars, and yeah, and it's like Cold War. Russians. That sounds a hell of a lot more yeah. exciting they than. Made uh, that game, though. What's that? Battle Zone. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Russians, Martians, all the same. Thing. I guess Killzone's the Nazi version of that <laughs> game. Yeah. Uh, no, in this game, so you what? What is okay? So it, it's, how it, many it, games are there? There's there's Red, Red Faction, Faction One, Red Faction Two, uh, Red I, Faction Guerrilla, Red Faction Guerrilla, and Red Faction Armageddon. Uh, this is like a long series, and I think the last, uh, the, most of the recent game, uh, Red Faction Guerrilla, was um, you are rebelling against uh, the EDF, which is the Earth Defense Force, who um, can colonize the planet. And you rebel against them, and this takes place like a hundred years later. You, you play the grandson of the of the hero from the original um, game. Damn, it's like the Middle East, saying, right? They, this can't yeah, yeah. be settled. Well, pretty much <laughs> what happens is that they're chilling out, and some bloody terrorists uh, blow up the terraformer that gives the Mars the oxygen, and they all have to like live underground. We settled Mars over a century ago. Making this dusty rock our home wasn't easy, but the promise that led us across the void was freedom. Something my family's bled for many times. For generations, we Masons have fought for the Red Faction. Many were heroes. But heroes have enemies. And one, a self-styled messiah named Adam Hale, has returned with an army to conquer Mars. It's a war he's losing. Now Hale's cultists have captured the Terraformer. The one thing keeping our atmosphere stable. And plan to destroy it. If the terraformer goes down, we go down with it. And then your main character accidentally opens a door, and a whole bunch of aliens just like yeah. pop out. And, and you, <laughs> the worst <laughs> thing about this game, there is there are no chicks with three boobs. Oh, so it's just well, that, that's what I was thinking. thinking. Yeah. Like, yeah. So a bunch of aliens <laughs> pop out from the ground, like, "Will y'all shut the fuck up?" <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's for a second there, it just sounded like you were describing the plot of Total Recall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I just want some now. I'll, yeah. I'll tell you one thing. I absolutely adore Red Faction Guerrilla. Like, um, I, every time I play, it's like, oh, I feel like watching uh, Total Recall again or playing Commander. Cause See much, you at the party, Richter. <laughs> <laughs> Consider the divorce. You know. <laughs> 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 the whole thing, yeah. So uh, it, it was just basically you blowing up buildings and bridges. It was a whole lot of fun. And this is just, you know, most of the game takes place underground in caves, and it's just it's very linear. Yeah, there's there's no real building structure going yeah. on. So there's to me, it doesn't seem like there's a, much to blow up apart from little bridges over you know pits of lava. So was that a big like? aspect of the game blowing up environments and yeah no it's the biggest aspect of the game like uh, that was why people love playing it so yeah. much because it's got a fantastic physics engine yeah and you get to blow up all these buildings that are apparently made of balsa wood <laughs> and then you can rebuild them with your nintendo power glove and you have thor's magic <laughs> hammer like oh yeah exactly one hit with that hammer can like destroy a whole building <laughs> yeah you've got <laughs> you've got mjolnir that you're carrying around and you can destroy these buildings which is a pain in the ass if you're doing multiplayer because People can just destroy your cover instantly. Yeah. Well, you can use your your Nanergy glove, which, despite how it sounds, is not a glove powered by bananas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and you re you can rebuild shit with your glove. But when you're playing multiplayer and you rebuild yourself some co some cover, well, it's a one to one ratio, and they can immediately destroy the cover you built back up. So it's like I'm going to put up this wall of construction paper so you can't shoot me. <laughs> oh God, I was so pissed off. I got to tell you my first experience with this game. I'm running through this facility and it was right around the time when you uh, when the guy destroys the terraformer, okay, right? Yeah. And I I'm and I and I was just like, Psh, if I can blow it up, I'm going to blow it up. So I'm just destroying everything. And then I run into this room 
and the door doesn't open, this big blast door. And I can't get through, and I'm like, okay, what the hell? I missed something. I missed something. Why don't you just blow I must, it up? I tried, and I kept using the hammer on it and everything. So I'm running around the terraformer facility. I'm like, well, I must have destroyed something that is necessary for this door to open. I must have destroyed a pump or something like that. I spend the next hour rebuilding ed- everything with my magic glove. <laughs> <laughs> and still the door won't open. So finally I get frustrated and I Google it. And I pull up a video on YouTube and it shows the guy just running up to the door and then it goes to a cut scene. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> so it, it's fucked. <laughs> Great. And so I'm like, okay, I'll just reload and do this part again, I guess, after I spent, I was like, okay, I'm going to go around like, you Mr. Fix It and fix every goddamn thing in this room. So don't blow it up because you might need it. Um, but yeah, I reloaded, or I was going to reload, and I hit, you know, go back and all that. Hard lock on my Xbox. I was like, God damn you. So I did it all again. And so you blew up your Xbox. Well, I did it all again. Same spot. Hard lock on my Xbox. So I had to do it again. And then finally, I run up to the door. I'm like, you better fucking open. You be-. And then it goes to this little cut scene. And it's like, okay, go ahead. <laughs> so the game was fucking with you. And at that yeah, point, yeah. I was like, fuck you, Red I Faction. You see his face, man. He's like proper animated right now. God, I was I so mad. Like, but he's yeah. using his words, and he's pointing his finger. I know. I feel like I'm in an AA meeting right now talking to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just need a drink yeah. right now. You, well, you need to get a goddamn chip for if you played uh, Red Faction. Because it's just so maddening, and the design is poor. It, it looks like every other game where you're every other sci-fi game you've ever seen. That's what it is. Um, there's you have these like insectoid enemies, but they look like just dudes wearing armor, and it's just very linear. And the main guy Mason won't shut his goddamn mouth. He just <laughs> talks and he talks and he talks and he says the most mundane shit. Uh, the only cool thing is you get a couple of cool weapons. No, no, I mean, I, I, I don't oh, agree damn, with you on you everything, but I do agree with you that you want some uh, coffee it's very... some coffee or something, man? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't agree with you everything you, you think about the game, but I do agree with you on the fact of how ugly it is. Because the fact it's on Mars, everything's the same fucking color. It's just like, boring and uninspired. It's brown, and it's, like, yeah. gray, and it's just... Um, and the fact that it's mostly underground, it, it, that part really pissed so me off. So they didn't go to the Rainbow Caverns. <laughs> No, <laughs> there was no rainbow never, caverns. He, 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 he <laughs> there was no <laughs> Koopa Beach. And Red Faction Gorilla, like uh, there was never got to that rainbow bridge in the game. <laughs> no, no. I mean, actually, what's funny enough, you get like a special uh, gun at the end, which is basically like a, a My Little Pony gun. <laughs> I'm not fucking kidding. It shoots like, little horses. No, no, so you become shoots, a brony no, in the no, game. No, All right. You think I'm fucking with you? No, it's a My Little Pony gun that when you pull the tail, it just farts rainbows out at your enemies and blows shit up. It's like the unicorn in Red no, Dead Redemption. Uh, exactly. He's, so this is uh, that same look again. Like Nick, it's only on your magical PlayStation that Nick. you have kind of fucked up yeah. shit. Know, it's only on your of, PlayStation uh, that doesn't have fatalities in Mortal Kombat. What kind of uh, gay I, patch I, did your I, Xbox I, get this time? What okay, kind of okay. gay yeah, wishes did you be have? Watching the comment pages, like Nick telling the truth, man. You can see the little pony here and everything. But <laughs> so wait a minute, this is like—is this an unlocked weapon in the game? Or is this no, like, when you complete the game, uh, you're given that pony thing as a kind of like reward, and I kind of feel sorry for it because you got it kind of tugged onto your arm and it's squealing as you're just yanking its tail. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you were the first one to unlock Rainbow Anything. <laughs> and tell everybody else about it. You look, Mate, you... I explore every avenue of <laughs> yeah, the game. Can, man. Can, <laughs> can you see Nick at uh, GameStop? He's like, does it have any rainbows in it? <laughs> Is there, Do you have any games rainbow, with rainbows? Yeah. Like, honestly, if there aren't any unicorns in this game, then I am not interested. So. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Kevin, you know, before we forget that you're there again, what did you think about this? Yeah, well, you know, I played like the first two, and uh, you, you know, the real thing with Red Faction, what was cool about it in the beginning was that you would blow holes through walls, and you would build tunnels through the walls. So, like, if a door was locked, you could go around the door by blowing. You were a miner, you know, so you could go through the rock and go around the door, or you could go through the tunnel into another tunnel. It's like dick- so when you got into the multiplayer aspects, it could be a lot of fun because you know you could like you could basically drill yourself into like kind of a maze, and then like you know jump out of the air at somebody or whatever. And then, like, with, <laughs> with, with, with yeah, right, exactly, you know, or just come out of a wall like Rambo, you know, come out of a mud wall or something and <laughs> just blow up, start killing people. But then in the third one, that became like an open world game where you started destroying stuff. And then they came back to this now where it's like you're in a, a linear game again, but you're now no longer really blowing holes through walls as much. You're just kind of destroying 
I, you know, blow. buildings and crap. It's like just like every other game. It's and, still third person as well. Um, that's, that's the biggest thing because Red Faction One and Two, I believe, I could be they're first screen, person, but they were first person shooters, right. right? Yeah, right, exactly. And so, but it, it, you know, I'm not. I don't take it as hard as Jason does. I mean, I think the game is playable more than like Duke Nukem, which we earlier reviewed. But um, I, I don't think it's great either. I mean, it's kind of like I could take it or leave it. Okay, so. Sounds, Sounds like, like Epic Mickey to me. Like you get to you get to tear stuff down and then build it back up again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That same mechanic. Yeah, yeah, I guess that, that, that would have been better. Epic if, Mickey on Mars. If, yeah. but if Mason didn't have his magic glove, but he had Epic Mickey's paintbrush. <laughs> Hold on, Martians! I'm going to paint a bridge. <laughs> Don't worry, yeah. Nick will turn into Epic Mickey somehow. <laughs> but, you know, but there are some uh, cool aspects that make it very playable. Like uh, one of my favorite weapons in this game is like a magnet gun, which basically you fire one bolt. Um, let's see. You got an enemy shooting at you, and you fire one bolt at the at the roof of the cave, and another bolt at him, and the entire top of the cave will come crashing down and uh, squash the little yeah. bugger. So you, but, you set up uh, points that are attracted to each other. So it's like you can shoot an alien with one bolt, and then shoot a barrel full of explosives. explosives. Yeah. And then they'll like get pulled to each other and explode, yeah. or you can shoot two enemies, make them crash into each other. And yeah, the weapons that's are pretty cool. You not play this for the storyline because there's fuck all storyline in this game. Well, it is a story in the game. Yeah. Well, the storyline is that... Um, you play a character, what, Darius Mason? Or? Darius Mason. You're the grandson of um, Alec Mason from the Red Faction Gorilla. You're overcomplicating okay. it. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. uh, and, uh, basically, a dude wakes up a bunch of aliens yeah, in a terrorists, cave. Okay, terrorists the end. blow up the terraformer that gives oxygen to Mars. Everyone lives underground. And then he's got, like, a job as a miner and, uh, or an engineer. And uh, he's told to open this ancient door. And he's like, are you sure this is a good idea? We don't know what's behind. It's like, just fuck, open the fucking door. It's like, like, okay, okay, and he opens it, and like he go, he go, gets um, unconscious, and then three days later, like all of Mars is fucked with these like insects from uh, Starship troopers running around and eating. Damn, eat. you so know what's dead space? Yeah, when, when somebody tells you to not, you know, when when you have an ancient door, there's always some bad shit behind it's it. It's got yeah. skulls in the fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, I don't know. I think it's a good idea. How old is this door? It's like, and the uh, and the voice uh, on your um, computer says like. It is basically over 500,000 years old. It's like, oh, I, uh, well, I think we should... Well, it's like, probably shut for a reason. Then. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> get a bunch of scientists to examine a thing first, but... Uh, There's yes, a guy on the other side. Open it, this it, goddamn yeah. door. It, it's, Don't it's, get it's, this it's, douchebag who already fucked up protecting the terraformer. <laughs> it's, it's a zombie game, essentially. Okay. You know. So it does sound like something like, uh, like Dead Space, in a way. Yeah, okay. it's Dead Space. For those of you who sat yeah. through that... This jackass accidentally wakes up a bunch of aliens in the middle of a, in the, the Mars tunnels. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> and you spend the game fighting them, and you know nothing much else. It's pretty much you by yourself, do they, destroying as many buildings and aliens as possible. Uh, do they do they conquer at the end? I mean, do they? Uh, do you want me to spoil uh, the, the game story? No, no, I like no, the I way you not. sold the game. Though. You're like, and then you go off and shoot. Well, a bunch it's of just like it sounds so yeah, vanilla. Yeah. You're like, and then shit happens. It's just like, well. Yeah. Huh? Well, yeah. There Does is anything a ever happen? I mean, okay. I'm not going to spoil it. It basically looks fan. like an amalgam of all of the generic portions of every sci-fi game you've ever played. So what I'm picking up here is like some interesting gameplay, some interesting Very story interesting in there, gameplay, yeah. uh, some co- some cool weapons, but the biggest drawback is that you don't get to destroy as many environments and no. uh, and and. It's pro- you do that, go outside, that, but like once. But yeah. being that it's more linear, yeah. it kind of takes away from the game, yeah. especially since some of the previous games were kind of more open. Yeah. 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 Can I ask and you th- something? Since you played the game, right, um, you go outside, but you don't wear a mask. I thought the whole point... Of- I know, I Yeah, know. it's just like, a, there's <laughs> like, we can't, we have to live underground because there's no more oxygen. Wait a minute, you mean when you apparently outside, there's oxygen in the no caves. fucking masks on. What's so you don't, you don't get that Schwarzenegger face like in Total Recall? No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a squeeze toys, you know? Yeah. yeah. I guess I was like. So apart from some shitty weather, which, to be honest to God, you already fucking had that, you know, in the beginning of the game. Why are you fuckers living underground? Yeah. So. Here's here's the thing. Apparently, there's air in caves on Mars. I don't understand this. I'm not some sort of astrophysicist hey, hey, minute, or wait. scientist. Have you ever been to Mars? No. Then shut your goddamn mouth. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and here's the thing. But on on top of that. Don't live on fucking Mars. <laughs> well, what, isn't that one of those stories where we've uh, deplenished the Earth of all its resources? Oh, probably because it borrows from everything else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's about to slap me. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, they, uh, in the storyline, the storyline, the Red Faction Gorilla, like uh, Mars was a colony of Earth. 
Uh-huh. So it's pretty much like the American Revolution in a way. So yes. it's like, okay, we fought for our freedom, but there's really fuck all else to do here. So yeah. we'll just carry on mining, I guess. All right. yeah. So what would you? Congratulations, you won Mars, you <laughs> dickheads. <laughs> <laughs> Away with you now. Now, what, what what would you give the game? Um, I'd. I, I, give, I give it like a high rental. Hey, you, you look know. torn right there. I, I don't know. You, put, you, you, know what, you know what gets it for me at the end? What? It's the magical pony, man. If it wasn't for that, then I'd give a, you know, a well, fuck shit. you. Well, you, you will find a magical pony in every fucking thing you play. You could be playing Black Ops. There's going to be a magical pony in Vietnam somewhere. <laughs> That's right, yeah. yeah. I, I shall find it. I'll find the sucker. You, you will search that shit out. It's like every, I, I, uh, every game from now on, if there's a magical pony, I'm going to bring it up in the review somehow. So. <laughs> Just make shit up. Uh, Kevin, we're going to elaborate more on what you think, but Jason, since we're going along this line, what would you give the game? <laughs> uh, I would say that if you find this, like, in the parking lot, like maybe sitting there without a case or anything. <laughs> Come on, um, man. No. <laughs> I would say borrow it. Okay. Uh, I think I'd say recycle it or something. <laughs> yeah. You could probably sharpen the edges and use it as a weapon to throw at someone. Uh, no. I, yeah, borrow it. I mean, I've played worse games. This is just so uninspired and it's just there, I you know? Okay. So. It raped your dog or something. You know, <laughs> you Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You, what do you mean rape? It's not like it was, the game raped you. It was just talking. so <laughs> mediocre and... And for, yeah, from what I understand, because I'd heard so many good things about Red Faction Guerrilla, oh, you I was have like, to play it. You have to I was like, oh, okay, you know, cool. I'm, I'm going to play the new Red Faction. I heard the last one was great, and and this was just bland. So if your feelings were just hurt. You just <laughs> more. A little bait yeah. and switch. Yeah, yeah. and and plus, Come on. <laughs> fucking my uh, Xbox okay. up a couple of times. Oh, it's it's going to be all right. Oh, the shaking all hands right. is adorable. It's going to be okay. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> I'm, co- I'm not shaking. I'm comforting. Oh, and this comforting. and this still goes on like a like an AA meeting. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like you were angry about this, man. You scare me. I don't want you to hurt anybody tonight, okay? <laughs> I don't want you to go home and beat your dog over this game. Fucking red back. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I beat my dog when I'm sitting next to Nick? <laughs> of course. Oh. Hey, hey, <laughs> Pah, hey, Kevin. My, my man. name is my name is Kevin, and I played Red Faction. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kevin. <laughs> we have some cookies and juice over the table here. Uh, <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> uh, Kevin. So, would you like to elaborate on this before you give your review? I mean, I look. I, I think there's a lot of fun weapons. I mean, I think it's fun to play with that magnet gun. There is a lot of stuff to destroy. You know, the, it's just that it's a game that doesn't have a lot of depth. So, I mean, I would rent it. You could play with it with some friends or something. You know, on a weekend or something if you're bored, and then just take it back. You know, I, I don't really feel like it's something you're going to want to ever break out again once you've played it once. But it's worth checking out one time. I think definitely. I agree yeah. With that. So, what it'd be kind of a borrow for you too? Or rent. Yeah. Or rent. Okay. Nice. <laughs> All right. Not that bad. This was a good meeting. I'd like to end this in prayer and let you know that you <laughs> you do have the will to carry on. The <laughs> first step is admitting that you played Red Pack. <laughs> this game is anonymous, though. <laughs> My children, this is the power I promised you. The power to rule Mars. Who will stop us? You hear that?